Hi guys, welcome to a new lesson about S2 engine. Today uh, we see how to uh, we show how to um, import uh, a static model, a static mesh into the scene, um, into the project. Uh, in S2 engine. Um, manages uh, three type of uh, model file SN2, SK2 and SH2 uh, Static models uh, must be SM2 file type format Ok, um, when you want to import a model inside a, um, an existing project, you can choose uh, a folder of the project in which to import uh, the, mo the model. Uh, we um, um, we must note that uh, um, when uh, a model is imported inside S2 engine uh, it is created a new prefab containing the model the prefab is created belonging to a class uh, to a class um, based basing on the type of model, the format of the model file. For example, if you import a static model, it has an SM2 model file. The engine creates a prefab of type mesh object containing the model the static mesh model you have imported uh, now we see uh, an example ok first we create a new folder we call it uh, uh, my model my static model ok my static model now we we will import our static model inside this folder this project folder to do this we have chosen the folder in which import the model and uh, now we click on import button import button uh, the first folder that import dialog uh, show us is the folder of the project the main folder of the project we go outside the folder and choose the file we want to import in our case we can import we can import air conditioner file format uh, that uh, works uh, can be obj can be die uh, can be fbx um, fbx file format uh, uh, has been improved greatly uh, during the last year 
so it is uh, uh, the preferred file format uh, um, but uh, for static uh, mesh model also obj is good ok we have chosen our file the, fi the, the model to import and click open when well, click open the import dialog specific for the object file format is opened. Uh, these are the folders in which eventually uh, asset, eventually resources. Uh, resources uh, contained by the model, for example textures and materials and also models are specified in this input box. In this case we have chosen the My Static Model folder so automatically the engine has put, has placed inside these parameters my static model folder but you can specify what you want ok um, in B ok um, now uh, When you import a static mesh, you have to uncheck model root is in root. You have to uncheck this. You have uh, to uncheck animations, for example, and check import geometry, of course. Um, about other other options uh, you are free to experiment them okay we can press on import and the air conditioner has been imported we want to see it inside our scene right drag and drop the air conditioner inside the scene we want to see it better so we want to we have to uh, rotate it etc ok as you can see this model has uh, textures no problem um, the import system or S2 engine try to find to search to look for textures everywhere you can uh, everywhere it can um, but sometimes uh, if uh, it fails especially when you haven't textures for a model right? ok um, in this case um, textures haven't been loaded but materials have been, have been but the um, importer, importer system has created the materials for this model how we can look for these materials we have uh, we have uh, um, some options okay we can we can press right mouse button and uh, 
select the mesh parameter in this case as to engine load the model uh, the model uh, editor and let you see the imported model okay as you can see this model is uh, since this model is a static mesh when you see it inside model viewport in, with model editor you see that you must see that it has only one node that is the node containing the mesh if you see other nodes you are making something wrong or uh, you are viewing a new a, another type of model file format for example sk2 or sh2 in the case of static meshes static models that are the models uh, that you must use to uh, populate your scene with uh, static structures okay static buildings and other the model must be sm2 file format okay so uh, we have seen the model now we want to see model also inside the browser how selecting selecting the object inside the scene and click on show selected show selected make the browser to go inside the model folder and let you see the model of the object you have selected same thing you can do with materials okay so we can browse materials click on show selected and and uh, the browser will make us to see the material loaded into the model of this the selected object you have to note that this kind of workflow works only in the case of static models so only in the case of static models you can select the model and click on show select right if model is composed by more than one material you simply click select the model and click on the material you want to select right and then click on show selected uh, for example for example we insert inside the scene this model that is a static model okay this static model is composed by more than one material now if he, if I want to see inside the material browser where is for example this material let the material I'm click on we click on show selected and 
This is the material I have selected. If you want to inspect the material, you can click on Material Editor icon and it show the material, right? Or you can click right mouse button on the selected material inside the material browser and click on inspect okay we want to return to our air conditioner air, our air conditioner uh, model. Luckily we also have textures of this model inside our project so we can um, we can uh, um, edit the material with the right textures. Textures are air conditioner, air conditioner, okay, air conditioner. Mm, better if we select folders, air conditioner. Um, conditioner is inside this folder right okay right air conditioner props air conditioner normal map props air conditioner low same same okay this is the model the, the material of the model when you have done this, you must click on Save Material and the asset icon inside the Material Browser is changed, is updated, right? Now you have saved the material and when you reload the model and the project, the scene, what you want. The material has been stored, has been saved and is loaded as you can see now. Okay? Okay. Now, as you can see, this model wasn't very good because the um, UV mapping has been made well. You can see the mapping of the model by clicking on UV UV shows you how uh, the shows you uh, the UV mapping of the model that in this case is very very wrong uh, of the two channel S2 engine uh, S2 engine supports two UV channels right uh, the second channel is usually used for uh, masking, for material masking. Uh, we see that uh, uh, next and future, future lessons. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry for uh, the model that is not so good, but. Um, you have uh, received 
uh, a lot of information about how to import models static models note that if for every matter uh, you see you see um, this icon this icon you see this icon near the model uh, this means that you are making something wrong because the model is a static model uh, in the next lesson we will see we will show how to import SH2 and SK2 models SK2 models is for skeletal models SH2 models uh, format is for hierarchical models uh, it does the models composed by uh, more than one node uh, this type of models SK, SK2 and SH2 are used for dynamic entities, dynamic object, scripted object and not static ones. For now, it's all. To the next lesson. Bye.